<laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. You want me to say it? No. Uh -uh. Alright, welcome back everybody. My wife decided she wanted to go fishing today. I'm a lucky man. We're going to do something that I used to do as a child all the time. Whether it be with my grandparents, my parents. We'd go to what we call the flatwoods and fish in ditches, small creeks, for anything that bites. Somehow in today's world, it's just become all too common to think you need a $60,000 boat, thousands of dollars worth of gear. That's just simply not the case. We've got a few dollars in worms, a few dollars in gas, and a few dollars in some cheap rods and reels. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Keeping it pretty simple today. Just a little float, bobber, weighted hook. Got some mealworms, some night crawlers. That's all it takes to catch fish down here in these ditches. How are you? Yes, sir. Y'all have any luck yet? Not yet. One nibble. One nibble. Yeah. Y'all have fishing lines? Yeah, sure do. Let me get them for you. You got her one. What you got a sh shiner? That, looks, shiner. that is a shiner. A shiner. <laughs> now I wish I'd go to them bar pits and toss him in. <laughs> well, when y'all leave out of here, go right in the first new bridge they built right there on the road. If the water's low enough, the bass usually bite pretty good in there. So, I mean, gotcha. You get that shiner, you never know. Yeah, I might. I got water in the cooler. I might throw him in there because I got a couple rods that would, would handle a bass. They were catching catfish like that. Golly. Right well, old cut I bet an old cut shiner would probably catch a catfish too. I'm just gonna check out the cord before I go. Yeah, no problem. Slap empty. <laughs> and then drinks. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright folks. All right. Enjoy your day. Alright, we'll Thank do. You. Uh -huh. you see guys, not all FWC are jerks like people seem to think. They have a job to do just like us. Let me show you what we're fishing. These are roadside ditches down here in what we call the flatwoods. There's about a million acres down here of lands and timber. It's kind of flooded swampland and these ditches serve a purpose of keeping it drained. So the pine trees that are planted down here have high and dry ground to grow on. Hope oh, getting bit, come on. I don't know what that is. Must be little. Keeps biting it, I just can't hook him. Try again. All right, getting bit, getting bit. All right, there we go. This is so much fun. It doesn't require much money at all. Look at there, beautiful fish. Now this is really swift because we've been getting a lot of rain here lately so this is higher than normal but all I'm doing is just tossing to the edge trying to find a calm spot if I can but just let it float down that edge Oh, getting a bite. There we are. Let's see what we got. This is what we call a war mouth perch. These are very common down here. Very good to eat too. Got him. 
See how I let that threw it out and just let it drift down? Again, that's just not something you can do with a cane pole or old fiberglass pole. It got me a fish this time. So I finally found me a honey hole, caught a few. Somebody gets jealous and runs and steals my spot. Uh-huh, uh-huh, while I'm over there baiting up. I see how it is. Got one? Good. What's that? Did he get off? All right, she got one. Looks like a war mouth. A really nice one too. Oh yeah. When I stepped on it, I was like, oh God, I'm on a rattlesnake. So anyways, just about pooped my pants. Thought I stepped on a rattlesnake. Don't know what these bushes are, but yeah, it got me. Come on, people. This right here drives me crazy. We got this beautiful outdoors that the state allows us to come and enjoy. Pick your trash up. I just don't understand it. I'm gonna try to start making it a habit that every time I go somewhere, I'm gonna pick up some trash, and hopefully all you guys will as well. You know, together we can make a little bit of a difference. All right, I got something messing with my bait. Come on. There we go. I feel it. Let's see if it's on there. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, mud fish. Will you look at the top of my toolbox or tackle box and give me those pliers, please? Ah, lovely. Not a good eating fish. Yep. <laughs> little old, little old bluegill. Little guy. Throw him back to live another day. Oh yeah, shiner paid off. Fishing on the side of the road. All right, we're back at the house. We didn't tear them up by no means today, but I had an amazing time. You know, sometimes you forget that the simple things in life are what's truly important. I had a great time today hanging out with my wife, enjoying the great outdoors and doing something that I haven't done in quite a while and that I used to do all the time as a kid. Brought back a lot of memories. Uh, you know, I've said it earlier, but so often the industry and TV and the TV shows teach us that uh, you got to have that $60,000 boat and thousands of dollars worth of rod and wheels. That, that wasn't the case at all today. Just a few dollars in gas, a few dollars in worms and some cheap rod and reels from Walmart. We had a great time. Brought home a mess of fish to eat, made some memories. That's what it's all about. Simple fishing like that is a great way to introduce a wife, kids, someone that's never fished to the outdoors and to fishing. 
go give it a shot you know get get back to your roots all right how i clean my bass is how i do any other fish just come in make a decision behind my head come down behind that peck fin put my knife in back to the head turn it and just follow that backbone down Open it up, just start falling along that backbone. Now, a lot of people will fillet over the ribs, which I'll do on this one. As you've seen in other videos that I do, sometimes I just cut right through the ribs. come down over the ribs there you are my bass fillet all right now that I have my fillets ready I'll just do it like any other fish just come in cut down till I touch that skin turn your knife just start working it forward There you are, no wasted meat. All right, we'll do this one more time. Again, cut down until you touch the skin. Start working that knife forward. All right, when it comes to these smaller fish, obviously it's about not worth your time to fillet them. You wind up losing a little bit of meat and there's just not much on them to begin with. So on small brim and perch like this, I'll go ahead and scale them whole and fry them whole. Now you could scale them with the back side of your knife, a spoon, a fork, you name it. But these little curved scalers that we get at our local fishing shop, they work so good. So just come in and work against the scales or I'll lay in that direction. <clears throat> All right, there you are scaled fish now I'll take the tip of my knife and just work back over them quickly because sometimes you will miss a scale and that is definitely not something you want to eat see there goes a couple right there tip of the knife is great for getting in these small spots and seeing if you missed anything all right now on these fish I just come in behind that peck fin cut up toward the head cut down do the same thing on the other side and actually just go ahead and cut all the way through. Come back and cut the stomach open. And when you pull the head out, the majority of the guts already come out. Now you can fillet it open and see if there's anything left in the cavity. If there is, just go ahead and get it and remove it. And I'll fry that fish whole, just like that, bones and all. All right, we're going to keep it nice and simple for this. All I've done is patted my fish dry. Just going to put a little salt and pepper on them. And we've got some Zatarain's seasoned fish fry mix. Just going to shake them up in that. And call it good. Just trap a little air. I'm sure y'all seen this again a bunch of times. So just shake it up. We're also going to make hush puppies and sweet potato fries with this. Now I'm sure y'all don't need me to explain frying fish to you. It's probably the most common method there is. I'm just bringing y'all along for the experience. And here we are, the result of an awesome day. Bass, brim, 
sweet potato fries, hush puppies, coleslaw, your typical southern fish meal right here. Had a great time making this. Take care. God bless. Check in with us later for another video.